My name is uh, Dr. Christopher Harrigan. I work at the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute in Bethesda, Maryland. I'm a medical oncologist and I also run a lab focusing on measurable residual disease in AML. So response criteria in acute myeloid leukemia had been static for many decades. And we know that patients who achieve an initial remission have a divergent clinical outcomes. Some do very well and are ultimately cured of the disease and others experience relapse. We wanted to use higher sensitivity tools to have a better idea of which patient was in which risk group. The European Leukemia Network has recently uh, proposed uh, consensus guidelines on the things we should track to look for residual disease in acute leukemia. And we noticed that about approximately 50% of those were molecular markers that could be tracked with quantitative PCR. The incentive to do this project was really the idea, could we translate this to next generation sequencing with the, the many advantages the next generation sequencing has over PCR-based assays. Next generation sequencing has uh, revolutionized many areas of cancer research and we thought it was particularly appealing for our use case of tracking residual disease and acute leukemia. It, did how, it does however have some limitations and one limitation was the intrinsic error rate introduced in library preparation and in sequencing. We were able to overcome this with the use of molecular indices or barcodes uh, that allowed us transcript level quantification and correction of sequencing errors in our RNA-seq based platform. The catalog uh, custom RNA sequencing panels with, uh, with molecular barcodes were an ideal foundation for which to build our highly customized assay for our specific use case. And it was a real pleasure to work with Kajin in developing something that was uh, very specific for this particular indication. Specifically what we're hoping for with this assay is it allows us to in, increase the throughput of these, uh, these assays on large retrospective bank samples, but also going forward and thinking about ultimately translating this into clinical testing. Um, but there's a great need to have minimal residual disease testing in AML. We think it adds important additional information and scientifically I think that's going to be an important uh, laboratory correlate that we add to most of the trials we're doing in the future. I think more broadly uh, the fact we could customize this off-the-shelf assay into something that worked particularly for our particular disease is a model that can be expanded to other cancer types. Kyogen. Sample to insight.